Hey everyone, it's me, Justin. Today I have a tutorial for you guys. Um, this is a better version of my old tutorial, uh, Invincibility and Knockback. So basically, if you guys have ever played a Mario game, um, when you, like, I don't know, get, like, when you're a big Mario and you get hit by, say, a Goomba, you, like, go invincible for a second. So, this is basically what this is doing, but th this time I'm not using Knockback, because Knockback is, um, a little buggy, I don't like it. So, I, I figured this out while doing this game, I'll show you, I'll put this up game up later as an alpha, because it's barely even done. But, um, I'm just gonna show you guys basically what it does. So, we have our enemy, the guy in the green shirt is our guy, so when we walk up to the enemy and hit him, we go invincible and we're flashing and then we become not invincible so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this and it works for other games too but I don't have um in my other game that I just showed you guys for a second uh, there's no like indication of health or anything yet so I can't really t show you guys how it works but it does work so I'm just gonna so we have our sprites and you know just sprite bad sprite guy and sprite wall it's pretty self-explanatory then we have timelines uh, we'll go over that in a second but we have our object enemy just basic enemy stuff and object player uh, and his great event we want to do in false that's just short for in invincibility or invincible false alarm zero uh, visible true, in false, and stop and recite, reset timeline, and self. Then in his step events, just, uh, sprite stuff, object wall, wall stuff. Uh, in his enemy, uh, if inv is equal to false, uh, it will just hit, hurt him, and this is just if he's able to jump on him, and there's no jump ability in this little engine, so I'm going to delete all that there's no point in that and set t and set timeline tm flashing position 0 start immediately loop and then in execute piece of code help minus equal 10 in true alarm 0 equals 90 and like an alarm 0 i just showed you and tm flashing this is actually my first time working with timelines i've never actually used them before but they're actually sort of simple to use. So in step zero, um, visible equals false. Step seven, visible equals oops, visible equals true. So it just repeats, and that's basically all there is to this. It's very simple. I thought I thought this would be like way harder, but it's not. So once again, we just have our guy gets hit. He's flashing, and he's not. And I can show you guys how to slow that down. So say, take step 7, change moment, indicate new moment, set it to, I don't know, 9 I guess. The further apart they are, I guess the longer it is. I'm not sure how it works exactly, I'm still new to it, but whatever. So when we walk into him now, it, it, like, it'll be a little bit slower. So yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Justin, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.